still in bed with the bonnet on, the pajamas on, everything. Knocked out in that man class. Like, girl, at, at the end of the day, that's still a person. And not everyone is meant to be your forever friend. Like, I would miss school just so I didn't have to take a test. Get that project done, okay? But I never told nobody business, so. And y'all are young, like, experience life, experience friendship. It's only you and God, baby. <music>
somebody said that person said it directly to your face or you've seen that interaction yourself you don't know what happened so please don't go around spreading false information about somebody because remember the, the tea whatever it can be juicy or whatever but at the end of the day that's still a person and you can't simply continue to spread a rumor about somebody or open the door to talk about that person and you don't know them personally because your mouth can get you in a world of trouble okay and we're not here to fight we're here to get our education okay yeah when it comes to high school balance is key um me personally i wasn't always just focused on my classes and my grades of course those were a priority but my life didn't revolve around what my grades look like or like the tests that are coming up i studied for those things sometimes i didn't y'all sometimes <laughs> i would literally skip school like i would miss school just so i didn't have to take a test and i could make it up because i didn't study for the test don't be like me though y'all i got away with it though but don't be like me y'all make sure that you're not giving too much time to friends or too much time to this or even if, if you're working a job make sure that you are balancing these things out and that takes true discipline and i'm not gonna say i was always on top of all my work and doing all these types of assignments but i try my best and that's all the advice i can give you on that is try your best because you want to make sure that you're making time for fun like okay are you you're hanging out with friends over the weekend and your project is due monday okay make sure you do your project friday night and finish it up sunday evening when you get home something like that okay if you know you're gonna be out saturday get that project done okay constantly focusing on just school I feel like you're not gonna have a great experience in high school because you wouldn't have any experiences in general like me personally I joined the dance team and that goes on into this next topic take a leap of faith or take a risk um, concerning your interests so when you take risks on you know your interest you are able to fully see if you like something and with these interests you can um run into people friends or even teachers you know people of the faculty who have like interests and can guide you and can help you and can you know build with you and keep you afloat in that area because like i told you y'all i wasn't really one to join a lot of clubs but i joined the year no art club i was about to say yearbook club i joined the um art club didn't too much mess with it it was kind of chaotic and y'all i can't draw for nothing i never really liked art but i was like let me try it didn't work out i was on dance team since sophomore year and it stuck with me y'all dance was the best experience i ever had being able to work with a group of girls and like a community and work together to produce a certain art which is dance and i really enjoy myself i had fun i have great memories a lot of videos a lot of pictures and me being able to take a risk on an interest such as dance because i liked dance but i've never really tried it out so when i made the dance tryouts i was like oh my gosh like i can actually do these things it builds your confidence okay and simply doing what interests you also makes you look forward to going to school or after school programs and things like that because I noticed that if I solely went to school just to go to get my work done like it would become mundane and I would get bored and I don't know I just like to be I want to say the school atmosphere but I like the community that I got from joining clubs or joining things that interest me or um, even talking about certain topics that interest me, okay? Because my school, I feel like my school provides a lot of diversity. Well, it did provide a lot of diversity for me and provided a lot of different opportunities. Organization is key. I'd have to always say, I have to say I've always been an organized person all my life. Like if you talk to anybody I know, I've always been an organized person. When I was in high school, I got a planner. So please get a planner because you wanna make sure you stay on top of these things, like color code your classes and make sure you're writing down important dates and um, 
chunking out of time to study like if you act if you say okay oh i'm gonna study this week when are you going to study? How long are you going to study? What class? How are you going to study? Is it going to be flashcards? Or are you just going to be reviewing information? Okay, things like that. Because when you stay organized, it's less, it's less chaotic in your mind. Okay, less chaos for you. And it's honestly easier to stay organized than to be have everything everywhere. So organization is key you want to make sure you're on top of your p's and your q's okay that you're organizing your classes so along with um organization time management is key as well organization and time management are not the same things um you want to make sure that you are planning your days planning out your projects okay um me i could never do something all together at once because excuse me I can get easily overwhelmed if you know you're a person who gets easily overwhelmed when it's a lot of things to do break it up okay break it up piece by piece if you're not organized if you're not effectively using time management properly you're gonna fall behind and when you fall behind you get stressed things start not going your way and you start focusing on the negative rather than the positive so yeah it's not a good feeling when you fail a test and you know you weren't you wasn't prepared for this, that test so you can't even blame the teacher and nobody for that so that goes hand in hand with avoiding procrastination how i avoid a procrastination for the most part is like i said time management organization and i will limit myself like i would say okay i'm not gonna watch tv until i finish these two assignments like sometimes I wouldn't even um, be in my room because I didn't have a desk back then. I used to just have my bed and my TV and my dresser. And the only way I would do homework, places I would do homework is like my bed or the floor. I used to go in the living room or I used to sit on the back porch or I used to sit at the bar stool. I used to not be in my room at all with no distractions, no TV, nothing, okay? Because if you don't like put away the distractions, you're not going to get it done or you're not going to get it um, done at the at a good timing because if you're distracted a 30 minute task could take you an hour or an hour and a half hands down it can so you want to make sure that you are limiting distractions okay and you're making time for what you need to get done because once you get stuff done and get it out the way and you realize okay i got it done now i can be stress free i can watch this movie i can do whatever i want to do with my friends like you realize that you know getting things done when they're supposed to be done really takes a load off of you because when you procrastinate you're constantly thinking about what you need to get done and what you should be doing rather than actually doing the thing itself relationships and dating now i dated i never dated in high school i had some crushes i had some talking phases but i never had a relationship in high school and i'm glad i didn't i can see how people get in that lovey-dovey phase and then two months later they're broken up and people are like what happened and because I was always I wouldn't say a quiet person but more so to myself a lot of people seemed like they would like to confide in me but I never told nobody business so that wasn't me so if you tell me something that's between us okay whatever vent what you want to do a mistake that I always notice is people be diving in like head first like dang you ain't even gonna test the waters or nothing yet don't put somebody on a pedestal because you're not perfect they're not perfect and nine times out of ten you're in high school you don't know what your triggers are you don't know i want to say you don't know what love is but you don't know the basic steps it takes to actually build a relationship with somebody so moving too fast is just one thing okay my thing is don't start dating somebody unless they're your friend unless you've gotten to know them okay because people will these dudes these dudes will prey on you okay for real they will prey on you not pray but pray like lion tigers bears oh my like they will prey on you because they think you're weak-minded or you're easy and things like that 
So they're gonna test you. They're gonna test like what can they do? How far can they go? What can they say to you? How can they speak to you? How much time can they give to you before you're, um, you're complaining or you're liking something or you're not liking something? If they say what you look for in the dude, don't tell them what you look for in the dude. Please don't, please don't. And guys, okay, I've never really heard a guy's point of view or anything, but make sure you're, this girl is not just taking interest in you because um, she finds you attractive. Like um, being attracted to someone is the first step, but is she surface level? Like what does she want to do after high school? Same thing for the girls with the guys, like anybody friend. What do they want to do? Like what's your goal? They don't have to be like, oh, I want to be a millionaire, but don't tell me don't have me ask you what you want to do or what you aspire to be or exactly like not what's your next step but even if it's a now thing like what's your goal like even if it's like a month from now or by the end of the school year there's something that you are working toward if they're not working toward anything if they don't have any ambition that's a problem and you can't pour into somebody and you can't give your all to somebody and they're not going to return it back to you because if they can't give that to themselves they can't give it to you so a lot of times people are struggling with insecurity people are struggling with a lot of different things especially in high school growing up you know at these times our minds are overwhelmed with a lot of different things if someone's not secure in themselves like if they're insecure if someone is not giving themselves the love they deserve, if someone is not speaking to themselves healthily, how can you expect them to give that to you? And that's just that on that. If someone's not consistent with themselves, how can they be consistent with you? You really gotta look at that other person, like what I told you to observe. You gotta look at that other person. What are they doing for themselves? Because a relationship they're not supposed to be your world they're not supposed to make you whole you're always supposed to be whole and a lot of times in high school a lot of us are not whole i don't know you know i wouldn't say that relationships are bad you're young have fun but you don't have to have sex okay just because y'all been dating for a month or y'all been talking for five months six months ten months that don't mean you're supposed to have sex with them if they ask you for that and you're not comfortable don't do it okay me personally i went on marriage because my lord and savior is jesus i went into marriage <laughs> but um yes like don't do these things if you feel pressured to do it don't do these things because you feel like it's an obligation okay don't do it that's all i gotta say don't do it don't do it don't do it if you want to get a relationship fine make sure y'all friends hang out go on dates have fun but you don't have to be serious and be locked in with somebody and y'all are young like experience life experience friendship experience that self-love experience like struggle experience happiness okay experience breakthroughs make sure you're experiencing those things before you focus on a person because you don't need to focus on a person you got grades to worry about a social life to worry about your own mental health to worry about because there's a lot of mental health things going on when you're in high school okay when you're young in general and i think a lot of people want relationships in high school because they want a companion they want a friend they want somebody to be there for them and it's like it's only you and god baby to build your relationship with god Personally, I wish I would have known God when I was going to high school. I wish I would have heard his voice. I wish I would have been studying the Bible, journaling to him, all these things. Because if I had God, I would not have felt so alone. Build your relationship with God, okay? No one is perfect. God did not make you perfect. So be sure to lean on God and talk to him as if he were a friend and confide in him and simply grow with him and allow him into your heart and into your mind and to help guide you through that time because high school is a place where you can fall into the wrong crowd you can fall into the wrong ideologies um you can fall um victim to a lot of different things 
if you are not strong-minded okay if you are not sure or have your heart set on your beliefs or your morals okay now I hear a lot of people um, ask this question like what's the difference between dual enrollment and AP classes so AP classes are like college classes but in high school so you're taking a college level class but you're not enrolled in college and you learn all these things take all these tests and then at the end of the year you take your AP exam for that particular class or classes um, separate tests for each class and you get a rating on how well you did in that class like for testing wise and depending on the number that you get you either pass or you fail and you get a college credit right and dual enrollment is when you are duly enrolled so you're in high school but you're also in college like my school had a thing where I think it was they had UCF and they had Valencia um, I live in Orlando Florida so they had UCF I believe and um, Valencia and I took Valencia classes so you're actually taking college classes like with college students and it's free of charge like free of charge friend um, you know you do those things and like I said you get tested you like you're treated as a regular college student you're actually enrolled in the college so AP you're taking a college level class and you have that big test at the end and then with um, dual enrollment you're actually enrolled in the college um, free of charge don't know if it's different for anyone else but my school did it free of charge or my county and you take the test you get the assignments you have a professor you're in class with other college students things like that so that's the difference between the two honestly I would say I prefer dual enrollment classes because I feel like AP classes were harder in my opinion like just the fact that I had like whether I passed or failed depended on the number I scored on the test so I don't know some people preferred AP but I took AP all throughout high school and don't know why I did that but that last year my my teacher convinced me to do AP and that year um so junior year was the last year that I was actually in school and then COVID happened and we had the option to come to school physically or do online so I was online y'all I would literally be online in that teacher class knocked out okay because I think I had two classes I had one class um, for half a semester and then I had his one class like all like both semesters and then I was doing dual enrollment so the rest of my college my the rest of my classes were college classes y'all I used to be knocked out in that man class like I'm not even gonna lie to you I used to be knocked out sleep still in bed with the bonnet on the pajamas on everything knocked out in that man class like when it got closer to like the end of my uh, senior year that's when I decided I wasn't gonna go to college um, I saw the workload and just the overall experience I got from the online college classes and I wasn't too much into it like that anymore and then a big thing for me was that I didn't want to be in debt so I you know, we're searching for scholarships, applying for scholarships, but you had to have all these things, these community hours, and I necessarily really, it, essentially I wasn't prepared for them. And I just felt like I was fighting for money and really I was. So I decided not to go because I didn't want to be in debt. And I feel like if I wasn't sure on something, I didn't want to make a decision that could put me behind because I didn't truly know what I wanted. So I was like, if I did want to go to college, I would want to be sure. And now that I didn't go to college two years later, I'm glad I didn't go. 
but I would go back for like um, accounting or find some a financial advisor, something concerning anything concerning finances or like a business class if I want to, but um, real estate as well. Like it's a lot, y'all, that I really we want to do. But try to put your best foot forward and put yourself in that position to be helped because not everybody's gonna know everything or grasp everything immediately so don't compare yourself to another student you know or anything like that make sure you are you know paying attention to the resources your school had because my school had a lot of different resources that i didn't grasp onto or really try to pursue because i wasn't knowledgeable in it but i feel like if i would have i probably would have had um a lot of opportunities a lot of different experiences if i had volunteered for a lot of different things in high school you know that god loves you i love you and wherever you are on your high school journey your school journey in general good luck god bless you and keep trying keep pressing and you will reach that finish line